Okay, in this uh, short video, unedited, just one take, uh, maybe we'll call this the SAS one take series. <laughs> um, we're going to show you the configuration of our electronic in-dash speedo together with the SAS GPS unit. Uh, our hand model today is our technician, Rob. G'day, Rob. How you going? <laughs> okay, so the first thing Rob's going to do is power on. So we're using, um, replicating a car's 12 volt system, just powering on using power supply. Um, the speedo will go through a pre-sweep and Rob will now display how to set the configuration of the speedo using the little programming button that's supplied and go through the various pulse settings and other settings that you may need to do to set up. So the first stage to go through, you mind if we just do that restart and sweep again? Yeah, no problem. Okay, so we'll just power off, wait for the gauge to go back to idle, and this is what the gauge will do on first power up. Full sweep, return back, and to enter programming mode. Hold button. Hold the button down. Okay, so the pulse is we want is eight but it will work off any other pulse. It just may take a little longer, but if you move it to eight, let it exit, go back to zero, now you're ready to program. And that pulse setting is for if you're using it with a, an already supplied vehicle speed source, like a transmission, a whole effect sender and so yeah. forth. Yeah, so. so you've got a choice of 2,000, 4,000, 8,000, 16,000. And a free setting. And a free setting. If the pulse is unknown. Right. So in this instance, we're using the 8000 setting with our little GPS sender. So Rob's just powered on the GPS sender. You would have seen that the light just quickly there was flashing red. Yeah, we don't need the antenna connected for this part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the button and hold. Release the button and you can see it's gone just past 60. So we want it on 60. So I'm going to press the button again and we're going to watch where the needle's going to go. So the needle's going up, we don't want it to go up. So, so holding, holding the button will just continue to move the speedo towards maximum speed. That's it, so I'm gonna press the button again because I want the needle to go in the opposite direction. So releasing the button and then pushing it down again will reverse yep. direction. That's it, so as soon as we get to 60, I'm gonna let go. And I'm happy with that. Could be slightly off maybe on the camera. Showing 59 on the digital yep. readout. So that's close enough for us. So what we'll do is you can power it off straight away and that'll lock it into memory or it will exit after about eight seconds on its own. So now we will turn it back on and the programming is done. Now if you want to check, you can simply press the button and hold it and the needle's gone straight to 60 or maybe 59, and it's pretty much where we want it. So that's good to go. So we'll turn it back off. Now it's ready to go. Do we need to do anything with the um, GPS in terms of acquiring a signal? Or all we're doing there really is we're just mating 60K with the, uh, what a 60K pulse out of the GPS sender will be. Yeah, yeah, that's just setting the pulse rate. So once you're finished with the install, um, before you go for drive, obviously just connect up the GPS antenna. Yep. Once you power it up, you'll notice the red light will change to green. Yep. Green meaning that you've acquired a satellite yep. and you're ready to go for a drive. No problems at all. Excellent. All right, we'll see how that goes. And uh, in another installment, we might have a crack at um, showing the configuration of the Speedo to a VSS other than the GPS sender. Great, thanks Rob. No worries.